the Joe Rogan experience. One of the things I learned from all the men who were writing into me a Playboy is um, Jordan Peterson has something that really speaks to these guys. And, yeah. you know, I've seen him get a lot of, of crap, but, like, he has saved so many men that I know. I mean, yeah. these guys have written me letters, like, telling me so much, and I'm not sure really what it is about his program or whatever what whatever it is that he's saying his message well he's concentrating on young men I mean, mm-hmm. that's a, it, mm-hmm. he has this he's resonating with young men because is it discipline what is his what is his, what is his I mean, primary thing. he always talks about cleaning your room like clean right like, right, you're right. make your messy, bed m- messy mind messy cluttered room cluttered, cluttered mind, mind. Mm-hmm. yeah same thing i mean mm-hmm. he's essentially saying clean your room get your okay. shit together yeah you know, i mean he, there's there's so much to what he's saying that expands far beyond that as well. And, you know, his movies are getting, he says there's a documentary about him right now, The Rise of Jordan Peterson, and it's getting censored. Like, Why? These, these people are protesting it being in these theaters. They don't know. They think they're supposed to censor him. They think he's transphobic and homophobic and all these different things. But he's helped so many people. But, but you know his origin? Do you know what happened in Toronto? That no. He, okay. There was, really. there was a bill that was being passed. It was going to force you to use one of, you know, there's, this, this gender pronoun bill, mm-hmm. like say if you w- wanted to use one of the 78 different gender mm-hmm. pronouns, you would be obligated, mm-hmm. like legally obligated to use them. Uh, and he was protesting against that. It's like you're using compelled speech. Uh, you can't compel me. Canada does not have free speech. They do not have so a first amendment. So it wasn't amendment. that the, he didn't want to re- he it wasn't that he didn't want to use their preferred pronoun it was that he didn't want to be compelled yes, to use legally that. compelled. Oh, got it. Legally compelled. And he didn't want to use made up words either. Right. Like cuz there's Zer and Jim and all these different crazy made up words. Yeah. Like like you you want to be a they? You want to be a, a, a he or a she like like what are we doing here? Yeah, like, yeah. Who, what are you? Okay, <laughs> if, you, if you you want me to call Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, I'll call her Caitlyn. That's fine. You want me to say it's a her? Okay, I'll say it's a that's her. That's fine. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But you want to start making up words, and that's where he's like, no. And you want to and legally you want to call me compel. A, and you want to call me a bigot for not right. letting my kid get hormones. Like this is where this is where or the sports thing I get yeah. very like outraged sports about. It's insane. It's insane. Get, there's there's a bunch of different schools that are letting kids compete in the gender that they identify with and those in those places those those women's track events are fucking dominated by men <laughs> dominated they're breaking world records what was that woman's name Rachel McKinnon she just broke the world's record for the cycling event and she's a, she used to be a man I mean all the and they're like you're a bigot if you don't agree with this no you broke the world's record <laughs> how'd that happen what is happening here? What's happening here is you're a guy. This is you're when I born a guy. This is when I feel like I'm in a simulation, and right, right. and there's somebody who's like, let's see how many people we can get to like get on board yeah. with this shit. Right. And then and I I and or I'm like maybe I'm just old. No. Maybe. <laughs> no. What's getting What's happening is women are getting fucked over. That's yeah. why this is the most crazy. I get called because, a turf a lot. But they're in the middle of this ideological battle. And mm-hmm. women are losing scholarships. They're they're losing their ability to compete with people of their own gender. This is or their own sex, their own whatever you want to call it, whatever the, the right. fucking chromosomes. The, when you start adding trans men and trans women into the mix, you're going to get two things. Depending upon the sport, the trans men are going to get fucking smoked. Period. <laughs> when when w- tra- when women transition to men and they want to be a man and compete with men, they're going to get fucked up. In almost it, every sport, particularly fighting. It Jesus, is funny how much it's Christ. gotten men talking about periods. <laughs> Has it? Like, it's just like, you know, I'll see men defending, like, a woman's right to talk about her period. I'm like, yes, that's right. What now man, you're a male feminist. What man has ever had a problem with women talking about their period? No, no, I Who know. Are but those some, guys? They're, they, they exist. They These get squeamish. They're squeamish. That is so weak. <laughs> mushy. That's mushy, man. Guys are scared of pussy blood. You're not scared of a bloody steak, but you're, you're scared of vagina blood? Yeah, there's. So they are squ- there are guys who are squeamish about it and there are so another one weird. shake them off the leaf <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> shake them off yeah Soft-headed. yeah there's there's a it is it does feel a banana i read something somewhere where it said you know that there was um gender like stereotypes were being determined by biology and now we're using biology now we're using gender to determine biology as 
so biology determined gender stereotypes, the male and the female, and whatever. Mm-hmm. And there was a reaction to that. And now as a reaction to it, they're using gender to determine biology and how it's getting. It. Yeah, it's like. It's so confusing. It's so. Maybe. The thing is, there's just a broad spectrum of people. And there's low testosterone males and there's high testosterone <laughs> females. And that should be okay. We should be allowed to be whatever the fuck we want. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs>